Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Leanne and on my channel we do lots of uncommon plant content and just planty stuff in general. So today's video I'm going to just go over some of the new growth that's been happening in my greenhouse, in my plant room, aka my bedroom. So we're just gonna go over some of the things I just wanted to show you guys, some exciting stuff and yeah. Uh, I hope you like today's sort of background. It's just a wall with my grow shelf. I'm hoping it looks good. Anyway, so we're just gonna get right into the video. All right, I'm gonna start off with my Philodendron Splendid, which is the cross between Melanochrysum and Vercosum. This guy just unfurled a new, brand new leaf right there it's a pretty good size too not as big as the other ones but i'm sure it's gone through some stress lately so that's probably why um and i just recently mounted him on to this moss pole i made myself and he i just kind of directed his roots towards the pole and i don't know if you can see but right there there seems to be some root, roots grabbing onto the pole which is awesome and then i recently had to cut a leaf off um, but if you're curious, this is the biggest leaf the plant has. It's quite large compared to my hand. This guy right here. Um, I'm sure it will fall off eventually though, because it's kind of discolored, but we hope it sticks around for a while. I'm just going to put that guy back. Okay, so next new thing. Um, actually, I'm going to show you guys a sad thing, because that's the reality of plants um this guy i found thrips on and i've noticed his leaf was yellowing uh for a while but i kind of just ignored it because i thought that it was just like throwing a tantrum but of course there was reason because he had a crap ton of thrips and thank god i checked a bunch of my plants around it in my greenhouse and no other plants had anything so i'm kind of skeptical but i mean what are you gonna do, right? I can't see any of them, so. Um, I'm checking them right now. I'll show you in a sec. Um, just to see if I, sometimes I just blow on it, see if anything moves, because I can't really tell if some things are like specks of dust or if they're bugs. He seems pretty clean. And he has a leaf that's still trying to unfurl and I couldn't really wash it super well because obviously it's still like all folded up um, but i put it made a makeshift quarantine plant bubble thing for him just because i don't oh my god i'm having such a difficult time there we go so made this little plant bubble out of just two plastic cups um have some spag in it and I have just a little tape, just some scotch tape to hold it together so it doesn't go everywhere. So I'm gonna put this back. And I had to also cut him, well not that I had to, I kinda wanted to, just cause I love propagating varicosum since they're pretty easy to propagate in my opinion. So I just put his bottom half, which was a very long leggy stem that I did not like, which is actually a good thing. So he's gonna look a lot more compact and his roots are in the bottom. And again, I put them in this little dome so that just in case the pests do come back, they will be secluded in there. So next thing is my Melanochrysum. Actually, I just transferred him to Leca today. Um, he was in water, but I thought his roots looked long enough and healthy enough to like go through the shock of transferring to Leca, and he did uh, put out so the background story on this guy if you can see right here um, the stem his original stem is broken in shipping and he had to push this whole new stem and it also has a leaf coming up that's gonna unfurl soon um, can't wait to see that it's obviously puny compared to the larger leaves so that's kind of sad but it is what it is, it's just gonna take time to get back to its original size and I'm hoping to, once this unfurls, maybe after it has another leaf after that, then I'll put a pole on him. So that's that guy right there. 
uh, I have a video on his unboxing if you want to go check that out. Um, the next exciting thing is my Philodendron and Glorious. I have him in Lekka. He's loving, loving Lekka. Um, his roots are all furry and juicy looking, so I'm really happy about that. He's just sitting in uh, water in the bottom of this pot and inside of another pot. I don't know if you can see that. And also, if you noticed, he has a new leaf, and this is the first leaf um, this plant has had in my care, so I'm super duper excited. He was actually right next to the plant that had thrips, so I'm really, really scared that this thing might have thrips because I don't know if you can tell but this leaf looks almost a bit yellow and this one's like a nice green so I'm suspecting that maybe but I mean I did transfer it to Lekka so could just be the Lekka right I hope it's nothing crazy I really hope so all right so new leaf on the way I'm probably going to post uh, the new leaf when it unfurls on my Instagram, so if you want to go follow me, I'll definitely leave the uh, my Instagram. Oh, I always forget what that's called. Oh, whatever. Anyways, I'll just put it down below. So, what is the next thing I have for you guys? Oh, my pink princess. Uh, I don't know if I've actually... I probably showed this on my houseplant tour. But um, its most recent leaf is definitely the most gorgeous one. Lots of chunky, like, white and, like, a minty color right here. That one's really cool right there. And also a new leaf on the way. So I'm excited to see that guy, too. From the looks of it, I can definitely see white. Um, I can't see, like, large patches of it. So we'll see how that guy turns out. Either way, I'm probably going to love whatever it looks like. Uh, another thing from my greenhouse is my, oh boy, philodendron mame is throwing out and has just unfurled this new leaf. And um, this one usually grows quite a bit in size and it's, um, I tra I'm not sure why I transferred it to sphagnum moss. Um, I think I just wanted to try something different with this guy, and he, he seems to be loving it because he, I can see all the little pink roots, especially right here. I don't know if you can see that. Super nice roots. And I forget completely why I transferred it. I think I just wanted to switch things up. So that's my mammy. And like, these are his other two leaves. This one's a little bit of a funky shape that guy so yeah mame and for this greenhouse that might be it as far as new exciting growth stuff all right so um yeah i'm gonna move on to my philodendron burl marks variegated um yeah not very easy Okay, let me try to put this on the table. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the newest leaf is by far my favorite. This is the new leaf. Um, I don't know the best way of showing you that, but it has a really cool um, variegation throughout the whole thing. And I'm not a fan of the very yellow variegation. I like the cream to white. And it's definitely a more creamy color, and I think that's because I've been increasing um, the light. And I did also find a few spider mites on the oldest leaf, so I had to cut that off. But um, so far, the other leaves look fine. So, there's that. And let me see if I can find anything else for you guys. My um, Billetai actually put out a new growth point because I bought him as a one leaf cutting. Um, he was in water, transferred him to Lekka. Seems to be loving it so far. I see a few dead roots, but lots of nice new roots, as you can see probably right through the glass right here. Um, and if his new growth point is right there. So he's doing really, really well. Very excited to see his new leaf. I'm going to show you guys a plant that I've recently gotten. 
This is my Philodendron Plowmanii. Um, super cool, got it from a plant friend. Um, just looking at his roots. He was in sphagnum, he's just slowly acclimated into the water. Um, he had a few um, rotted roots, but that's totally normal when you put a plant in the water. But I have faith that he will do really well. Yeah, he's got a super cool texture to him. I love it. The back is obviously cool too. Hopefully you can see that really well. Or somewhat well. Yeah, and that's that guy. And the roots are pretty substantial, I'd say. They're not bad. Put that guy away. So I think that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, remember to subscribe to my channel, like or dislike the video, helps me a lot. Uh, if you watched it the whole way through, thank you so much for sticking around and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.